Would you like to, like to introduce yourself? My name is Francesca Beard. I'm very pleased to be here. Thank you for having me. I am a uh, poet and I make theatrical pieces for myself to perform and I also work a lot with and for and in communities. So from a kind of practice, practical and professional point of view, I, um, I'm doing a lot of work on Zoom and a lot more work with communities uh, and less of um, work, working to develop my own shows. In terms of how it's been, in terms of my process, I've actually found it kind of amazing because it just gave me the chance to think about what I really wanted to do. And it gave me the, the kind of the space to, to really think about the work that I was going to do and thinking about, well, just because it's so pressurized now, should I be doing that work? Or is there, an, uh, is there another question that I really need to answer for myself? Mm. and which maybe will connect more with with people i'm not to diss the work that i was doing before but i genuinely feel that this is a, a kind of monumentous unprecedented event a global event it's it's been absolutely mad and huge and it feels like everything is up in the air and it genuinely feels uh, life-changing and generational changing yeah, time to think and time out of time is what it has happened. And that's just been really a gift, actually. Yeah. I don't want to sound obnoxious, but yeah. I know, um, I know a lot of people have, um, have been talking about, oh, well, I'm going to do this with all this time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write that novel. I'm going to make that show. I'm going to do all that kind of stuff. Um, has that been sort of a driving force for you? Oh, I have just really, I've kind of, in my mind, I'm kind of thinking fallow, fallow, you know, like in agricultural terms, you, you, sometimes you just need to rest or you need time, just plunging in to fill that the vacuum that mm. was created by everything being washed away. For me personally, it would be a mistake. It would be a massive missed opportunity. Like for me, the, the opportunity here is actually to observe and to experience the free fall a while ago i decided that my whole remit was to hold a space of uncertainty okay if i have a role or a job as an artist i'm gonna make it safe to feel really uncertain and that's where i want my audience to feel joyful and exhilarated by uncertainty almost as a kind of philosophical state i think there's something um, something really beautiful in the in the way that you're talking about connecting to communities. I know personally that's, that's happened for me as well. I, I know my neighbours now and I didn't know them so well before the pandemic. Do you think that that's, that's going to be a big thing for us now, working within communities or? I've really loved working in communities from, from quite a long time ago. We used to piss me off when like, community art was seen as this kind of patronizing tick boxy oh yeah look at those people aren't they sweet or oh, how you know like that Ugh. I genuinely think that that's where stories are and that's what art's for and um, seeing really great community pieces genuinely for me is the exciting thing like mm -hmm. I really love a feeling of improvisation I come from spoken word, so I really love it when someone, it feels like someone is telling the story that they have chosen to tell about themselves. Um, in spite of, against the fact that the story that society is telling about them is different. And I feel that the, the, the people who've kept going and are still working, the people who are still paying me money to do my work are community arts organisations. Um, could you give us a prompt or task? Yeah, absolutely. This is my prompt or my task. Instead of the, the poem that you think you should be writing or the poem that is on your to-do list or the poem that you were going to do and that you were working on before the pandemic, what if that was already done or that was just off the table and you had to do something else? What if you just did it for you? And you didn't have to do it so anyone else thought it was good. And you didn't have to do it 
so that it would earn you money and you didn't have to do it so that you would feel like you were cool or smart or clever. What about if you just wrote something and it was just for you? That's it. Write that poem. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs>